Hello and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News. Today I'm going to tell you why the ammo shortage just won't seem to go away and how you can beat it. But before we get started, I want to tell you about TNBC.com, night vision devices for people who need gratuitous amounts of seeing in the dark. With all new flavors like sour apple green phosphor, white cherry phosphor, and beer. See, you'll be good at it. Science, night vision, science, night vision. TNVC night vision is made with real dark matter. You'll be so good at seeing, you'll be able to see through time. Let's see if we can answer a question that's been coming up a lot lately. Why does it seem like the ammo shortage and inflated prices will never come to an end? For those of you who experienced the previous panics, this is nothing new, but an enormous number of folks bought guns for the very first time since the last panic. This is for you new people. First, the easiest answer, the shortest answer, and to be fair, probably the largest part of the issue is all of those new people. 8.4 million people bought guns for the first time ever in 2020 alone, and about 3.2 million bought guns for the first time just so far this year, for a total of almost 12 million new gun owners. Go ahead and cue the rookie numbers memes, because these numbers are, well, they're literally rookies. <laughs> but that's an amazing number considering there are about 168 million eligible voters in the US. Since there is a pretty close overlap between legal gun owners and eligible voters, that means about 7% of the people in this country who can buy a gun did so for the first time in their lives over the last year and a half. So maybe you're thinking, yeah, I get it. Demand has increased astronomically, but why don't the ammo manufacturers just make more bullets? Well, short answer is they are. The bullet farms are running night and day at full capacity in most cases. I've heard stories about how technicians aren't even allowed to take machines down for maintenance or replace parts until they actually break. But to the extent they aren't making as much as they possibly can, it's because the last year has also played hell on procurement and pricing for raw materials. But why don't they just build more bullet machines, you ask? Well, some of them are, but in the cases that aren't, you can't just wish the machines into existence. The machines themselves are expensive, and the facilities and floor space they occupy costs money too. It takes time and money to procure the machines and to get them set up. Investing in manufacturing capacity is risky. While the overall total number of rounds sold will certainly remain somewhat elevated for years to come, the amount of sustained increase is uncertain. Those 12 million new gun owners aren't all going to be active in the shooting sports. There's no guarantee they will continue to purchase ammo. Many of them will likely be the type of gun owner who goes shooting once or twice, maybe takes a class, then stores the gun in case it's needed. If they aren't regularly consuming ammo, they are not going to sustain increased demand. And prices won't stay elevated either. A glut of ammo would drive prices down. So if I'm an ammo manufacturer, why should I invest money to increase capacity when, for one thing, it's possible my current production capacity might be sufficient to meet demand in a year or two, and further, why would I spend money to ease scarcity when that very scarcity is holding prices up? Granted, the last point favors retailers and distributors more than it does manufacturers, but it is still relevant. So, what can you, dear viewer, do to bring this situation to an end? Stop hoarding. Don't buy ammo unless you need it. Don't pay more than you have to. If you have a dozen mags full for your nuclear zombie holocaust sport utility rifle and three or four mags for your EDC pistol, then you're probably good. Now, of course, I'm not saying that's all you'll ever need to have, but I am saying it's just plain stupid to try to stack it deep right now. Watch wikiarms.com, ammoseek.com, and of course, ar15.com slash deals and sign up for email alerts wherever you can, then only buy when the cost per round is at a rate you are comfortable with. Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. But before I go, I just want to take the time to remind you, please check to see whether you're still subscribed to our channel. 
our robot overlords in the tube of yous know what we want better than we could possibly know for ourselves. So just go ahead and unsubscribe viewers from any channels which happen to express inconvenient wrong think like this one. Now you folks out there know censorship makes puppies cry and Captain America is very disappointed. So don't forget to check every now and then just to be sure you're still subscribed to us and while you're at it, make sure you ring that notification bell so you never miss a word of our gun rights propaganda. And if you want to get email alerts for the best deals, projects we're working on, and the <laughs> hottest stuff you missed on the ARFCOM forums, you'll also find a link tree link down there in the doobly-doo for our newsletter. And remember, if you want to help us keep bringing you banger content like this, please support the folks who support us. Not only does TNVC.com give you night vision with that cool, refreshing, never bitter taste that goes down smooth, they also have mounts, lights, and all sorts of other gear to make you the bump in the night. I love you.